Hi, this is Tim Cushell with the Evolve Academy, and I'm back with more tips and tricks for the Barco EX. In the last video, I covered how a single EX could replace four Image Pro 2s for simple computer to HDSDI conversion. Actually, you can link two EXs together for a standalone system that could be an 8x8 matrix for routing or signal conversion. When linking two EX units together for standalone operation, you should first only connect one unit to the network. In EM Toolset, drop that unit into a system. Select the banner at the bottom of the unit and go to the Adjust tab. Change the IP address from the default and hit Apply. Disconnect from the system. You can now change the unit ID in the Discovered Units column. Change the ID from the default zero. Disconnect from the system. Next, reconnect the other EX unit's network cable and attach the CXP link cable. The top unit in our case will be the master so the CXP should come out of the top link connector of unit ID 0 into the bottom link connector on unit ID 1. In EM Toolset, drag the unit with the IP address of .185 into the workspace. Since the CXP cable is connected, it will show you an option to add the second unit. Click Add to link the EXs. Just like with other types of link configurations, be sure to click the X to disconnect the link frames when you are finished with your event. If you ever physically lose track of which EX is which, you can flash the LED on the front of the unit from the Adjust tab menu of the currently selected processor. Up to two EX processors can be connected to each link connector of the E2 or S3. So for an E2, the maximum number is eight, and for the S3, it's four. And there you have a few more tips and tricks for Barco's EX processor. This is Tim Cushell with the Evolve Academy. Thanks for watching.